If you have systems that already exist out there, like planes, satellites, ships, the barrier to change is high. You can't really redesign a ship. It's too expensive. So scientific computation is really the key enabling factor in doing this. During the jointly held 2013 SIAM annual meeting and conference on control and its applications, Nazareth Bedrosian explained that when it comes to improving the performance of spacecraft that are already in orbit, doing a hardware upgrade is pretty much out of the question. So when physical improvements are impractical, mathematics becomes the solution to improving performance by optimizing the way the spacecraft is flown. Just like you go do a Google search to find the best path to, let's say, drive to work that minimizes your commute time, optimal control essentially solves those types of problems. And that has great application in aerospace, airplanes, satellites, ships, myriad of applications. We have a uh, maneuver coming up at uh, 1557 GMT. During his talk, Bedrosian explained how optimization enables the International Space Station to boost fuel efficiency. We primarily talked about how to go faster and how to use less fuel. The analogies of that is, uh, I mentioned the NASCAR, where essentially we can uh, find how you should enter a curve in order to, to get there faster. So all those types of problems can be solved with optimal control. And interestingly enough, what we showed was that you can get performance improvement even with no time penalty. So it sounded like it's as close as you can get to a perpetual motion machine, I think. As Bedrosian showed, increased efficiency can translate into cost savings. And in the case of spacecraft, the savings can be enormous. It's very expensive to get fuel up there. The nominal cost, this is all well, the pump cost, is $33,000 per kilogram. But that means you have to launch a rocket to get it up there. So at uh, launching a rocket, you need probably a couple hundred millions up front before you can get that propellant up there. So it's exceedingly important that uh, whatever propellant you have up there is used very judiciously and lasts the longest possible time because resupplying is a very expensive proposition. Bedrosian stressed how the industrial sector relies on the industrial and applied mathematics community to develop the algorithms that make optimal control solutions possible. The algorithms, which is essentially the process by which the solution is developed, has been developed by them, SIAM, the membership. And for example, in the presentation that I showed, all of what I did totally relied on somebody else developing you know, these algorithms and the software.